Hello, beautiful ladies of the Ordinary Sacred Women's Circle. This is an exclusive video for you. The tip for the week, it has to do with what to do with difficult emotions. And this is something that I have learned to do that has changed my life. So, um, many people will say that our emotions really fall into four categories, right? Glad, mad, sad, and afraid, afraid. <laughs> and um, that helps you remember them. Uh, glad, mad, sad, and afraid. And really, some people will say actually that there's only two, that it's just attraction or aversion. But um, for a long time, I thought, well, gosh, Glad's the only good one, and the goal is to get rid of these other three, not be angry, not be sad, not be afraid, and just try to live here all the time, right? But that just didn't work for me. And what I know now is that all of these emotions are actually our internal guidance system that tells us what to go toward and what to go away from. So if we want to have that internal compass that helps us make wise decisions. We have to fully accept all of those emotions and really listen to them, which is hard because a lot of us have been uh, conditioned to suppress our sadness or our anger or our fear. So this exercise is really wonderful. What I want you to do is when you feel an emotion, to consciously give it permission to get bigger. So if you're feeling afraid, you say, it's okay to feel afraid. Show me how afraid you are and embody it. Uh, not think about more why you're afraid and the cause of the fear or the cause of the anger or the cause of the sadness. Not be in your head and you're in the words, but go into your body. How does this emotion feel in my body? I am going to give my body permission to feel this and then let it let it feel because the one who gives you your body permission is bigger than the actual emotion and so this is another way of being able to step out and look at you know your child and your critic or your animal and your dictator to look at your emotions to look at your body the natural responses they have and gain the wisdom they're there to to give you as you are the consciousness that gives them permission to be, to fully express themselves, and that you are going to see them and hear them and value them. And that's how you will gain wisdom. Now, this is a really difficult shift if you're not used to doing it, so just try it gradually. You can do something I like where you can say, um, even though I'm feeling very afraid right now, I fully love and accept myself. I fully give myself permission to feel afraid because I do feel afraid. Um, I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about it. If you want to know more about this, uh, this is something I pulled out of Martha Beck's gathering room from this week. So you can go and watch that. It's brilliant as always. And I hope you have a beautiful day.